Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today we are going to talk about the best second placer for Miss World of the Decade which means these are the ladies that finished second place for Miss World from 2010 to 2019 and to be honest this is a very very difficult this is a very difficult group of ladies to rank because Miss World is such an amazing pageant and they will not just put any random ladies in the runner-up position because med all of them are just amazing. So I really struggled a little bit. So I know we may have some huge differences when it comes to the rankings. I would really love to know your uh, comments later. So for now, let's begin. Again, this is just very difficult to rank. All of these ladies are amazing, but this is just based on my own personal preference. Let's begin. Starting with my number 10, 2018, Thailand's Nicole Pinchapa Limsnukan. This is quite a weird addition for me because they only have one runner-up, but the entire show and staging was amazing. For Thailand, I am actually surprised that she was the one chosen to represent the entire region of Asia because I totally believe that Nepal was on a huge lead against other candidates and other contenders from Asian region that year. So when she was called, I was a little bit surprised, but then again, I was okay with it. It was really Mexico's year to win, but the first one up was still a bit of a race for the other ladies. So when Thailand was called, I can see why she was chosen, but honestly, if compared to the other second placers, I think the other nine are much stronger. Number 9, 2016, the Dominican Republic, Yaritza Reyes. I didn't really consider Yaritza as a winner, although she is one of the front runners in the competition, doing very well in events such as sports and top model. I really love how she transformed from an oozing woman in Miss Universe to a more glamorous and classic lady in Miss World. Her answer in the final question was just okay to me as well. Number 8, 2011, the Philippines, Gwendolyn Rue. Gwendolyn looked beautiful, but personally, I am not really a huge fan of it. Of her, actually. For her answer in the final question, it was actually good. Super good. But for someone like me who followed Miss World, this kind of delivery, her answer I mean, it actually seems memorized. And it really doesn't work with Miss World. I am not saying that her answer was memorized, but it is giving us that vibe. A memorized answer kind of vibe. However, I feel happy for her finishing second place because 2011 was truly destined for Venezuela to win. Number 7, 2010, Botswana's Emma Warius. Emma was gorgeous during the finals and she looked amazing in her yellow gown. Her top 5 speech was also super strong and loved her sincerity when she delivered her speech. In somewhat a year with a surprising winner crown, seeing Botswana in second place was already satisfying. Number 6, 2014, Hungary's Edina Koltsar. She was so, so beautiful and seeing Hungary there was definitely a breath of fresh air because we don't usually see Hungary on top. And in the final question, I mean, am I the only one who's pissed with Tim, the host, for interrupting Miss Hungary while answering? I mean, that was irritating. She, I mean, I'm not sure how long has he been hosting, but come on. You're not supposed to interrupt ladies while answering a final question. And for Hungary, I love her response because it wasn't pageanty. But honestly, I didn't expect her to finish second place. But I won't argue because again, I am happy seeing her there. Number 5, 2019, Frances Ofeli Mezzino. France was an obvious front runner when she competed. She's got an, an she's got an unbelievable life story which was connected to her beauty with a purpose about leaving with I mean engaging herself with the deaf community and having both parents who are both deaf and I think that is very inspiring. That alone made us believe that she's going to be a sure contender for the title. Miss France sends very, very smart representative. And seeing her perform and answer that final question was just amazing. So I wasn't shocked at all when she finished very, very high. 
Number 4, 2017, Mexico's Andrea Meza. And before we talk about Andrea, 2017 was definitely my favorite year because most of the questions that were submitted through Twitter and most of the most of the questions that were asked during the head-to-head -head challenge were the questions submitted by me. And for the final questions, England's question, France's answer, France's question, I mean, was my own submitted question as well. And most of all, the winner, India, that was my submitted question as well. So I was very, very happy and very proud because they were able to answer the question very very beautifully and they have given a strong answer now for andrea andrea was a strong contender last 2017 she excelled in different activities like the head-to-head -head challenge top model sports and even in the finals she proved that she is a contender by performing superbly her answering the final question was also strong i am super happy that she finished second place because her hard work was rewarded now, she is competing to be Mexico's representative in Miss Universe 2020. Number 3, 2015, Russia's Sofia Nikichuk. This year was the only was the year where I was really confident of earning a back-to-back -back correct, correct prediction for Miss World because for 2015, I predicted South Africa to win. In 2015, Russia was my predict predicted winner for Miss World. Seeing her beauty and seeing her dominate at the different events made me believe in even more that she would likely win. On the pageant, she looked amazing in her red gown. Her answer in the final question, I think, was also strong. I was a little disappointed when she was called second place in Miss World, but my goodness, it was a competitive top five, so I still didn't mind it anymore because that was still a great placement. I mean, if you go back to 2015, everyone in the top five would easily become Miss World. I mean, that was one of my favorite group of top five ever. So even though I was rooting for Russia to win, I was really happy whoever wins it that year. That was such a great group. Number two, 2012, Wales. Sophie Moulds. I am in love with Sophie. She's got one of the most beautiful faces that walked the Miss World stage. That face, that beauty, her performance, and her answer could easily earn a Miss World crown. I mean, I am a little bit disappointed, but it cannot be denied that China, who won in 2012, also performed well. But imagine if Wales won that year. I mean, she would be an unforgettable winner, specifically in terms of beauty. And my favorite second placer for Miss World of the decade is no other than 2013, Frances Marine Lorfeline. Marine was just unbelievable. Right now, she is currently serving as one of our frontliners, serving as a doctor in France, and we are honored that she is living the real definition of beauty with a purpose. She represented her country in the best way possible, and the way she looked in the finals was beyond amazing. Her answer in the finals was also very very sincere, very sweet, and that's the kind of natural personality that works perfectly with this world. And her achievement was perfect for her. I mean, I really can't forget how she looked and how she was styled and how she was dressed during that runway. I think it was the runway performances. It was the runway challenge top model where she looked amazing. I mean, that was the moment where France it made, it made us realize that France was really coming to win that year although she finished second place it's still a great achievement and she will be remembered forever as one of the best representative of france in miss world and the best second placer of the decade so that's it these are my very difficult ranking for the best second placer of the decade for miss world so i'm very excited to know your personal ranking so don't forget to leave your comments below don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well and most importantly don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of this videos in the future for now thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the philippines